you can always find anecdotal evidence of GPT slipping up and saying something either uh, wrong or um, biased and so on. But it would be nice to be able to kind of generally make statements about the yeah. bias of the system, generally make statements about There are people nuance. doing good work there. You know, if you ask the same question 10,000 times yeah. and you rank the outputs from best to worst, what most people see is, of course, something around output 5,000. But the output that gets all of the Twitter attention is output yeah. 10,000. Yeah. And this is something that I think the world will just have to adapt to with these models is that, you know, sometimes there's a really egregiously dumb answer. And in a world where you click screenshot and share, that might not be representative. Now, already we're noticing a lot more people respond to those things saying, well, I tried it and got this. And so I think we are building up the antibodies there, but it's a new thing. Do you feel pressure from clickbait journalism that looks at 10,000, that, that, that looks at the worst possible output of GPT? Do you feel a pressure to not be transparent because of that? No. Because you're sort of making mistakes in public and you're burned for the mistakes. Is there a pressure culturally within OpenAI that you're afraid you like it might close you up a little? I mean, bit? evidently there doesn't seem to be. We keep doing our thing, you know. So you don't feel that? I mean, there is a pressure, but you, it doesn't affect you. I'm sure it has all sorts of subtle effects. I don't fully understand, but I don't perceive much of that. I mean, we're we're happy to admit when we're wrong. We want to get better and better. Um, I think we're pretty good about trying to listen to every piece of criticism, think it through, internalize what we agree with, 